Let's extract this black logo from the white background. Now don't be grabbing any selection tools, that could just get messy. Instead, come straight down to the channels panel, hold down the command or the control key, and click once on the RGB channel. This will actually load the tones of the image as a selection. White will be totally selected, black will not, and shades of gray will be partially selected. Now in this case, this is the exact opposite of what we need. So, select, inverse. We now have a perfect selection of our logo. Now we could turn this into a mask quite easily if we wanted by simply clicking on this button just here, add a mask. Here's our mask. It looks fantastic, but using this method, you may actually end up with some fringing around the edges. So I'd like to show you a better way. Let's undo that. Our selection is still active. Again, from the bottom of the layers panel, this time let's add a solid color. Choosing OK. This is our original just here. And this here is our extracted logo against now a transparent background. It gets even better again. This thumbnail just here, if we double click on it, we can change this to any color we like. I hope that helps. Catch you later.